Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffled Rowlet, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're playing Pokemon MMO3D. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some gameplay. For the first time in a long time, I'm actually back with some gameplay here, which I'm very excited about because I have just not done gameplay videos in a long while. But we are playing some Pokemon MMO uh, 3D today, which is an online Pokemon game. It's a fan-made game where you can play online with other players in a 3D environment. Now, I can't remember my password, so that is just feeling great. But, uh, yeah, there we go. We actually got in, guys. So, we can make several characters. We already have a character right here, so I'm going to be just using the character I already have. Uh, I'm going to jump into the game, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to play for a little bit and just show you how the game looks like and all that. Um, kind of just a little bit of gameplay, and I just want to ask you guys if you want to see more of this. I could do some live streams of this. I could do, like, you know, uh, basically stuff like that. If you want to see live stream of this sort of stuff, just let me know, and I will get down to it. Uh, it's mainly up to you guys. If you want to see it, I'll do it. It's just up to what you guys want to see. So, here's the world of the game. Of course, I am playing... Um, just uh, as a normal player right here, I've got like some Pokemon already. I've already done the introduction. Uh, you can actually change your skin right here uh, to very many different skins. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with uh, Ace Roller here because, um, I don't know, people think Ace Roller is cool. So I'm just going to go with Ace Roller because why not? She runs really weirdly though in the game. Like the hands just flopping back and forth. It's kind of awkward. Uh, now this is an online game. So there are the players online right here on the side. You can see you've got a chat box which you can type in. Um, yo, what's up? There you go. You can type that. Now I've done showcase on this game before. Um, I've talked about this game before. But, it, you know, it's been updated. It's been getting a few updates here and there. And things have been changing. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to just kind of revisit the game once more and see what it's up to. And show anybody like that's, you know, out there that hasn't seen it yet. Uh, what the game is all about if you want to try it out. So the game is downloadable for free. It's a free game. It's on PC only for anybody curious. Uh, and I thought it would be worthwhile showing you. So Sophocles is what we're going to play as. Uh, he's a fat and he reminds me of myself. A little chubby man. Uh, just like myself. I'm a fat little little, little bastard. So, uh, you know, that makes sense. Uh, it really does. Either way, like I said, uh, we're going to play around, try out some of the things. Now, if you guys do not know, uh, in this game, when you actually use a Pokemon, you control the Pokemon itself. So right here, see, I'm playing as Charmander right now, uh, which is freaking awesome. Uh, there are a few other Pokemon games like this that do the same thing. And I actually have a game that I'm going to be playing soon that's being uh, developed that is going to be even better than this, like this in terms of like uh, combat and stuff uh, that looks freaking insane. So there are also awesome games. And hopefully, like, you know, this keeps getting developed. And I hope they add gyms very soon. The gyms exist in the game, but they're not, like, usable yet. Uh, you can't actually battle the NPCs there, which is a little bit unfortunate. So you just press R, by the way, to get your Pokeball, uh, Pokemon back. And of course, if you want to just check stuff, uh, you know, escape, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just a little bit of an introduction to the game. So we're going to teleport to somewhere else to check out some other stuff. Uh, we're going to go right here and we're going to teleport to Celadon City. Let's see if we can find anything in Celadon City. So here we go. Of course, every time you teleport, you will be put into a... Okay, so he's... Oh, he's added more now. Okay, I really got to explore every city now, dude, because he's added more stuff now. I see an Oddish over there. So I can show you guys how it looks like when you actually battle Pokemon and all that. Uh, it should be pretty, you know, pretty nice, I hope. Uh, <laughs> let's see, let's get a, um, a Charmander going right here. Boom. It should pop up. Now, the the timing it takes for uh, actually anything to, uh, like, to work out well for you here, like the, whatchamacallit, the leveling and stuff, takes a long time, I will say right now. Uh, also, the Oddish is level 22. We're just level 11. We just lost our homeboy. Oops. I did not, that did not go the way I wanted it to. Uh, let's pop out Pikachu. See if that works out better. So, to battle a specific Pokemon, usually you just press it. But unfortunately, uh, we are getting destroyed here. Every time I battle this Oddish, it's just destroying me. But do I, even have, do I even have any Pokeballs left? Let's see. I have five Pokeballs. Oof, that is not good. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, you know what? Not going to risk it. Not going to risk it. I just do not have enough Pokeballs to risk it on an Oddish that's full health. Just not worth it. Also, I think it's only when you actually, um, what should I call them? What you, once you actually, uh, defeat a Pokemon, that's when it, like, works. So, yeah, either way, um, I'm gonna go heal up real quick. I think we just, uh, press the box over here. There you go, and then they start healing, and boom, they're done. Pretty quick. Uh, we're gonna teleport to somebody else. Let's uh, teleport to, uh, da -da -da -da. Where, where are we right now? I think we're already in, Cer wait, no, we're, we're in Celadon City, right? So, let's go to Cerulean instead. There we go. So, yeah, uh, wait, no, this is exactly where we were. So, we did go to... Oh, I did not see that. I have not seen that before. Okay, I want to explore a little bit. I actually haven't seen the rest of the map. I haven't seen the progress that's been made. The houses look very much like the original Pokemon houses that you're used to. That's cool. And I can't wait to see, like, what they do with the actual gyms because uh, they will be implemented eventually. There are also people playing right now. There's, like, 33 people online. Uh, yeah, 33 players online, including myself now. Um, you know, and uh, boom. This is Cerulean Gym. It's a PvP area. It's uh, kind of large. Um, and wow, okay. 
And there is actually water inside. This is actually pretty awesome, dude. I can't wait until this is even, like, more, you know, more developed and all that. It's gonna be awesome. Created by Megapixel. Shout out to Megapixel. Looks sweet. So, in general, uh, a lot of things to see here. A lot of things to do. Um, of course, most important thing is that you can press the button up here and teleport back to uh, Palatown. And uh, once you're in Palatown, you can uh, go and change your skin again, which is what we're gonna do right now. Because I want to try out a different skin. Uh, let's just go with... Um, let's go with this uh, trainer skin right here. Oops, not that. That one right there. I really like this one. It's like clean and nice. So let's just take this one and uh, let's just go and uh, I think we already have healed up all that stuff. So we don't need to check that out. Let's explore the cities. I've already seen Pewter City, Cerulean City, Saffron City I've not gone to. Saffron should be really big though, shouldn't it? I hope it's big. Like with a lot of houses. Oh, and of course it's the most empty one. No, it isn't. Oh, the, okay. The backside here is cool. But it's really open behind though. I really hope they add more stuff to the side here. And also increase the spawns. I think they've actually increased the shiny rate right now. The shiny spawn rate. So that should be increased. Scyther. The shop. Beautiful. Uh, no, you can't enter these. There's Mountain Dugong. Mountain Dugong. Beautiful. Just fantastic. Now, there are actually several different generations of Pokemon in this, I think. Uh, actually, no. I think it's only Gen 1 right now. I think only Gen 1's available uh, right now. Uh, no, no, actually, no. Never mind. There is Gen 3. Because I remember seeing a Celebi once. So there is up to Gen 3 at least. Uh, I don't know beyond that, though, but uh, there should be a lot of different Pokemon. Also, I love the little Pokemon Cafe thing up there. Just fantastic. Either way, uh, chat right now is, I found a sweet shiny shelter last night. Quiet, uh, wait, uh, quiet with uh, 17. Okay, yeah, somebody's just saying in chat that they found a good IV, good IV Pokemon. Uh, shiny shelter, actually. So yeah, you can actually go to islands where you can uh, specifically do uh, training or catching a certain Pokemon um, that are much better. Uh, I love that, it, I mean, it's kind of fun. They're actually using the textures, uh, like, the textures are actually the sprites from the original game on some of the areas. Like, they look exactly like them, you know what I mean? It's not the actual sprites, but, like, it looks like the sprites. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know, I, I kind of like this. I kind of really, like, enjoy the way they've done this. Uh, let's just put, like, um, one of our Pokemon to battle here and see how it looks like from this perspective. I mean, yeah, it looks, I mean, it looks great, honestly. So let's just pull back real quick and uh, let's keep running down this street um, again, we're gonna explore all the cities. That's what I want to do. I want to look through all of them. Uh, I do get a little bit dizzy when I play, like, um, for some reason when I play, uh, like, some games. Like, if the textures are a little bit, like, popping out too much, like, my eyes can't handle it for some reason. Which is really strange. Because I play, like, a lot of games every day, like, you know, Rainbow Six Siege, and I don't have any issues with it. But, you know, for some reason with this, I have a lot of, um, popping issues with my eyes. But either way, so, the maximum population for this server is 200. So if you guys jump in, there should not be that, you know, many, uh, people, you know, uh, to the point where it would be ludicrous. Uh, but let's go. So let's go back to the teleport here, uh, and let's jump over to... I've already been in Saffron. Let's go for Vermilion City. Let's have that. Let's see how that looked like. And up there, of course, you can see the website updated and all that. You actually, like, move around. This is actually pretty awesome. Look at that. Actually, look at look at the website and see updates and stuff. Uh, right there. Look at that. It's, it's so sick, dude. That's so bloody sick. I love it. Uh, but you can check that out, of course, see what's uh, up with the game and all that. So, yeah. Uh, overall, oh wow, this is, okay, this is a little bit empty, so this is what I mean, like, the, the game really needs to, like, I mean, I really hope that they, you know, right now the developer can't work on it, because he's, he's, you know, just a little bit busy, and, you know, since this game is pretty much a free project that he's working on, um, he just doesn't have as much time to usually, you know, spend on it, but I really hope that, you know, he's gonna rework the cities a little bit, and just add more stuff into them, because this is, like, a little bit, like, you know, barren like this, it's a little bit, a little bit open, you know what I mean, but then again, this is a, pretty much a, you know, a one-man army type of project. You can press M as well to check the map and see what Pokemon are spawning. I think there's something over there. I think it's a Pidgey. I might be wrong, though. I'm going to use uh, Pikachu real quick. And let's go into a battle. Because we've done no battle so far, except the one we lost. So there is the... Uh, oh, that's a Sparrow. Okay. Here we go. You can also see the health down here. Uh, there we go. We're shooting off our uh, Thundershock. It's level 19, though. So we're, like, far behind in terms of level here. Uh, but if we just run around, we should have the advantage of basically being able to dodge a lot of the, uh... What are those moves, actually? I don't even know what he's using, what kind of moves he's using on I me. Mean, I know that's, like, Growl or something, but... Oh, there we go, guys! We actually got him! We got the Sparrow, beautiful. Alright, so, um, now that we got the Sparrow, let's return. And I gotta catch him with a Pokeball, which I don't know how to use, actually. I think we can uh, look right here on the, uh, close, uh, Pokemon stats, actions, action one, action two. Uh, transfer card. Capture is C. Okay, so capturing is a C. So we press C, and we can uh, pretty much aim like this, and boom, there we go, we, it automatically throws it. Alright, that's strange. It's a weird way for it to be thrown, but hey, we got it though, that's awesome, sweet. 
<laughs> Alright, the character was like stuck in the animation there. But hey guys, we got it though. It's uh, it's of course fainted, so you gotta make them faint to actually catch them. I don't think you can do it any other way. Um, there we go, let's just heal up. And we've got a Sparrow now. So we can also try out the Sparrow straight away. Just pop him out right here. And uh, we should have a Sparrow on our team. Actually, we can see what kind of moves that we're using. So it was using Peck. It was using Peck. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I think there's a way to make them fly or whatever, but I can't remember, like, oh, there we go, F, you press F, okay, that's how you do it, that's how you do it, so we can actually fly with our little, uh, sparrow right here, which I think I'm gonna do in a different area, I kinda really enjoy that, that's really cool, so, uh, let's just jump to a different area real quick, um, by going home, and if you guys want me to do another video on this, I'd love to, cause I actually have an account I can use where I can try out, uh, a bunch of, like, way cooler Pokemon, a bunch of, like, legendaries and stuff, uh, to show you guys, so we've already, I think we've been, I've been to Lavender Town before, I might as well travel there again, see what it looks like. Uh, there's also music in the game, but I'm kind of playing some Mew More music. So shout out to Mew More for the music in the background right now. It's uh, a song called Cyan Wood City. Uh, it's a gold and silver remix. So um, I'm just saying what the song is called. I mean, you know. And it's a Cyan Wood uh, City uh, remix from gold and silver. So it's pretty cool. And is that a freaking Meowth? That's a Meowth. Beautiful. Uh, but yeah, overall... As you can see around here, uh, big tower over there, Pokemon Tower, uh, in uh, shrouded in mystery, looking really creepy, uh, as per usual, uh, very sketchy, nothing uh, too uh, weird there. Uh, let's see if we have a configuration here. So we're going with the, let's go, if we go to the fastest graphics, we should see like, like some minor differences. Um, also, camera motion blur is something that I don't recommend using, I personally don't like it. Uh, fog is can be taken off, but I think it looks nicer. Uh, battle music can be taken off, depth of field can be taken off. Uh, which makes it look a little bit weirder because you see you kind of lose a, a little bit of um, the crispness in some angles. Oh, dude, look at that, dude. Do you guys see that? A little ghost showed up, man. Oh, that's weird, dude. That's awesome, though. I like it, but it's kind of weird as well. It's like, okay, fair enough. Um, color correction as well can be, you know, moved up so you guys can see like a little bit, you know, the game a little bit uh, of a saturated state. Which it looks better in, actually. Like, if anything, I like this way, matter way more. But, of course, if you don't want the game to be saturated, you can always lower it. And right down here, you can go to, like... Hey, I mean, you want to play the game in black and white? Guess what? You can play it in black and white. It is possible. Uh, so, it's really awesome that these things exist. I really like that. that. That's really appreciated from my perspective. If you're, like, making videos, uh, this is, like, a way, way awesome thing to have. Because it's going to be really useful if you're making, like, little um, cinematics and stuff. So, yeah. Overall, the game is beautiful. I love it. And, in general, I think it's worthwhile, at, you know, to give it a try if you're looking for a Pokemon fan game in 3D. So, I want to actually try this right here. I want to try to use the, uh, the Sparrow and fly up to the top here and see what's, what we can be find, you know, what we can find on the top there. But, like I said, I will do another video on this if you guys want me to. If you guys, of course, want me to, I'll do another one. But, uh, ooh, that's a, that's an Abra! What? Where did the Abra come from? Okay. I did not see you there. That was strange. Alright, that was strange. That was genuinely strange, but... Whatever, I'm not gonna question it too much. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna question that too much. That is just strange. But oh well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the video, I think. Um, I'm gonna do more gameplay on this and better gameplay. For this one video, I just want to kind of explain the game for the people who haven't played it before. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to try it out, just search up Pokemon MMO 3D online and you'll be easily able to find it. Uh, I just want to give a huge thank you to everybody who's watching this. It really goes a long way when you guys watch these videos and not just, you know, like the other stuff I make. Because this just makes me it makes it easier for me when I don't have other things to cover. To also make content on stuff that I think is fun, like fan games and whatnot. So if you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like down below, subscribe for future videos. My name is Rob Realit. Have yourselves a great lady, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you all the next time. Bye-bye, and peace out.